The Bible is the most widely read book in the history of the world, far outselling any other book, with 3.9 billion copies sold over the past 50 years. Many believe it contains the actual Word of God. But many people don't realize that over the past 2,000 years, this sacred text has changed a great deal. No first edition exists. Well, we have our copies, the first of which were made hundreds of years after the events supposedly took place. For the first 100 to 200 years, copies of the Bible were made by hand, and not by professionals. This led to many errors, omissions, and most importantly, changes. Here are the three biggest. The earliest manuscripts of the Gospel of John did not include Jesus challenging the mob that was about to stone a woman by saying, let any among you who are without sin cast the first stone. In fact, the story was inserted into the book of John somewhere around 200 to 300 years later. Bill Warren, scholar at the New Orleans Baptist Theological Seminary, told NPR, the early church canonized books and not stories. So when it had authentic stories from Jesus in the oral tradition, they had to find a way to put it in the text. In the Gospel of Mark, we learn about how Jesus rose from the tomb on the third day and appeared to various people, including his disciples. In original manuscripts of Mark, this part of the story is nowhere to be found. Warren says scribes were seeing the other Gospels with resurrection stories, so they felt adding a resurrection story in Mark would round out the text better. In the Gospel of Luke, Jesus' dying plea for his executioners to be forgiven, for they know not what they are doing, was not originally intended to describe the actions of the Romans. According to Bart D. Ehrman, the author of Misquoting Jesus, the story behind who changed the Bible and why, in earlier versions it was meant to refer to the Jewish leaders who had sentenced him to death. He told NPR this was a problem for Christians in the 2nd and 3rd centuries, who believed God hadn't forgiven the Jews and still blamed them for killing Jesus. So it was taken out, only to be added centuries later and changed to reference the Romans. As recently as the 1940s, when the Dead Sea Scrolls were found, we discovered a version of the Old Testament containing alternate versions of various books, including the Book of Samuel. Scholars continue to argue about many aspects of the Bible and how it's changed over the centuries.